Hey folks, today we are doing another Kraken Packs reacts to an old video from the Kraken Packs Vault, which is in two cases of Legendary Collection Kaiba First Edition. Let's start Kraken Packs and see what I pulled back in the day. All right, so for those that don't know, this is a continuation of the Kraken Packs Reacts videos here. And these were videos that I had filmed back in the day. Not many people saw them. I think we had maybe like 40 subscribers or something like that. I wasn't very confident and I didn't really know what I was doing on YouTube. I didn't know if I wanted to continue to make videos or any of that stuff. So I just, at one point, I just took everything from years and years ago and just delisted it all. And now I think it's appropriate and the right time to finally show off the pulls and see what we've got here. Let's see what the slothy boy over here what are you what are you doing sloth why why is that sloth even there i don't know i want him in like a crane game he just looked kind of funny maybe he's a channel mascot i never knew about if you're ever wondering the kraken you know my boy the logo yeah that's jack the kraken shout out to my boy thoinks where i got the name from let's get retroactively kraken packs all right so let's take a trip down memory lane here into what 20 2018 i think legendary collection kind of maybe 2017 that came out. I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe I even say it in this box, so it's my first time watching it. Let's see. Ooh. What's up, you guys? It's Chuck at Crack and Pack. Oh, I'm a little bit more enthusiastic in this one. Okay. What's with the slot? Legendary collection. I was just so proud I won that in the um, of the year. Game. And I'll be opening all these boxes for you guys. If you like the content in the channel, please subscribe. Leave a like below. You've got a Go fair point. Drop your comments in the you comment section point. below. So, we're going to start this off with one opening. I'm going to go ahead and detail everything in the box. And then beyond that, I'm going to go ahead and take all the packs out of everything. Sounds good. Because, I mean, this will be like a four-hour long video. All right, yep. guys. Now the oh, I like the little... I built like a fort around these. Simple. I need to do that next time I do Legendary Collection. Box opening of our first box. So, let's go ahead and check this out. This is Fun fact, I think I've talked about this before. That was my Walmart box cutter from like years um, and years ago. Just in terms like the blue really stands out. It's awesome. I guess full on review of the, the box here. For no I like the, uh, the orange tint to the uh, camera. Stand out uh, box of all of them. So, power is what this game is all about. Set of Kaiba. Three legendary collection Kaiba mega packs, uh, 30 foil cards, four secret rares, and six ultras per pack. That's I still have right. so many Everything of those playmats. It's either an ultra or a secret rare. So many. Um, it does come with some promo cards. We have. Oh, well, we're, we're going to open it up. So it also comes with some game it boards. No spoilers, course, bro. Advertising for dual links. <laughs> so this, um, this product, let me pause yeah, real quick. This product was a really, really big deal at the time. Um, it was the first reprint of Ash Blossom, and people realized that she was short printed in this. So it, it was hard to get, and then it had, it just had an insane amount of good cards. Uh, like collectors like me, you know, like I love like Regeki and stuff. It had like Secret Rare Regeki. Uh, from playing wise, it had a bunch of Dragoonity stuff, and I'm trying to remember some of the other things. I guess we'll find out here. But this is a really big deal. This is kind of the Megatons, I think, Megatons 2022 of, of its year, because I don't. Yeah, the Megatons that year weren't really that great. So this is, of course, a big deal. And it appealed to a wider audience than just the players, too, because it had Kaiba on the front. And Yu Gi's World and all that stuff had always done really great. So I think these are like $70, $80 for one of them now. Um, I do have some left over. Maybe we'll open it on the channel. Let me know if you want to see that happen. We might be able to make that happen. No, this set is uh, it's brand new. I'm filming at the time of It release. was brand new. And it has some of the most important cards in the meta right now. Um, oh, okay. Here we're going to learn a little bit. Format and a bunch of older styles. Uh, so oh, yeah. It had a ton of goat format cards. Kaiba. Just desserts was the secret. Opening. All right. Whew. It's shaky. So here we go, all mixed up. A little more awake in this one, huh? I, I remember at one point I was like, okay, I gotta like wake up when I do YouTube videos a little bit more. Check out the game board. So if you guys don't know, this is still a great product. If it, I would even at eighty dollars, the first edition ones I would buy. There was an unlimited print wave though. So let's see if we can get all that in the photo. Okay, awesome. So it comes with like the new Ring of Destruction card art. Lord of the. This is actually probably the coolest one, honestly, out of. All of the game boards. And soon as we'll be filling I like the normal legendary collection one now. Uh, the, the normal one, I think, is the coolest. I I mean, it's the only the only things with the Zodiac Necross on it. Opening and a mass dropping at the same time. And what's going to happen is all this stuff will be flooded, and we won't know what to do. Uh, this looks a lot bigger. What? Hold on, hold on. I want to see. I want to see what what was my. I think I was making a market prediction there. 
We're doing a mass opening and a mass dropping at the same time, and what's going to happen is all this stuff will be flooded, and we won't know what to do. This looks a lot bigger. I think what I was trying to say is that there was such a mass uh, yeah, amount of those being printed like a, on that first nice wave material. that the market was going to be flooded for a little while, which was true. But long-term legendary collection boxes are always doing really good, so not too far off the mark there, old, old Kraken. Things like that. So we have the promo packs are really pretty. Are they still in. aren't worth like a crazy amount, mm. but they're really pretty cards. The king of D. <laughs> king of D. There's me. Which is the fang of citrus. <laughs> citrus. Citerus. Uh, no, uh, you know, I like citrus. That's funny. Citrus. Yeah, the, the, the king yeah I like citrus. that. His, the fang uh, of citrus. His, I need to, I need to now that we have the uh, reprints, uh, right? Revival, Rhapsody, and Loop of Destruction. Yes. Those are our promos. Which How do you say that? Criterious? I still don't know. Uh, but just, you have to like pack, break it up in the in the comments. Let me know. Let's do it. Did I get rid of the nails at this point? I didn't have the classical guitar nails. It's supposed to have been oh, after right. I transferred from Gecky, VCU to Berkeley. I want to get just because I'm more of a casual player. Oh no no no! Wow. I still have okay, the, the so crazy classical front, guitar nail. Blue, Beautiful. That a lot of people were upset about this because they reprinted the re retro pack. Uh, we'll get to that. Let's just enjoy this. Priestess with eyes of blue. Very nice. Incredible and secret rare. And then it was all oh, ultimate ultra ultras. I think every card in the set. It was like an OCG set. It was like every ult. Ooh. Okay, we've got the LOB art. We've got the mirror force. A cloning, a fiendish chain. Fiendish chain. Melody of awakening. And then they put two secrets in the back. And oh yeah, and white stone of the ancients. I'm, I'm having like ma master awesome. flashbacks watching this. Okay. Blue eyes shining dragon. Something that hasn't been printed in secret rare since Retro Pack 02. Boom. Uh, Can we open my box on the channel. What do you guys think? Retro Pack 2. Uh, that from the. I already know the answer uh, to that. Everyone's like, do it. White stone of ancients and melody of awakening dragon. Let's I liked all the new. It wasn't just reprints too. It had new support in it, which I think was nice. I don't know if Yugi's world. Well, they did add some new cards. They added some weird, weird cards. Rare form. ABC Buster Dragon. Uh, let me go ahead and start a pile of secrets over there. Divorce Raider. Classic card. A Very nice. Very nice. A CY Tiger Catapult. Tiger Catapult. A giant Red Sea Snake. That was a like tournament pack reprint? Another Mirror Force. That was also weird. People were like, dude, they're they're boosting rarity on some of the old tournament pack cards, which I'm like, whatever, dude. I, I think it's cool. Some people were kind of negative about it. See, some people were negative about this product when it came out, which is just like, it was going to be one of the best performing box sets, I mean, for the next five years. God, has this been five years? Oh my God. If you originally watched, I don't, I don't know if these even became unlisted. Might have got to the point where I, I uploaded them, but what was that? The whoa! Exile the Wicked, another classic Yu-Gi-Oh card. This is awesome for me. Someone that Very really true. Old form. Tiger but Dragon, v -Tiger, v Tiger Jet. V Tiger Jet, heavy mech support, a crush card. It had both virus. artworks too. I thought that yeah, was really cool. There was both artworks with the crush card virus. So that being the original one, I think. Art. Cloning, and for our secret rare. Dragon, dragon Ravine. Ravine. So Dragon Ravine, Ravine was like a six dollar common card. Burst stream. And Burst Stream, an ancient Rush. sanctuary, a card I love very much. Oh, Great right set, there. undervalued, so underappreciated. Yeah, thanks, thanks and for very some love. Time. Actually, they have with Ghosts from the Past. Everything. They've been reprinting some of the, the agent it. cards oh. and stuff. Which I think is tight. All right, back. You guys like how I did that? I wish I could cast spells like that all the time. All right. So oh, I was like, I did editing. No, I didn't do it. I just hit pause. I didn't edit anything other than the intro. 69 packs left. I don't know if I was just messing around. Have been opened. I've taken all the promos out, and we're gonna get started. Is there three right per thing? Yeah, okay, yeah. So this is, so yeah, that's probably right. Mega Kaiba packs, and I think this is gonna be super interesting. This is really fun to go back to now that I know how well. Uh, you know, yeah, looking at how this set performed cool and how so many people of, want this box. Uh, speculation, how much to get Ash Blossoms, how many there are in the set, all that stuff. There, there was like one in like a case if you were lucky. They've always short printed Ash Blossom. And then the starter decks, they were like, we're just not gonna print a bunch of them. The one that had Ash Blossom in it, they like did a low print one. They know, they know it, it drives sets. And people buy sets, even the Megatons. This is five years later. Think about this. This is five years later. Beautiful card, by the way. Five years later, and Ash Blossom is still a chase card. What did I call him earlier? The Fang of Citrus, the new Fang of Citrus. Sounds so hesitant. Uh, awesome. We pulled a cool card. Uh, oh gosh, guys, I pulled a cool card. Made with eyes of blue. Dark Dom Dragon. Hey, we're gonna get a ghost rare of you, buddy. Virus. All the virus cards have got hit with a reprint. Kind of weird. We had all these virus cards and then the pandemic hit, right? It was like literally right before that. 
a ring of defense and a dragon shrine dragon Super shrine that was cool. also that was a dual pack rivals of the pharaoh uh card i don't awesome. it might have been printed before let me know if it was printed before dprp but that i remember that because it was like you could buy the card rare demise. and it was like a three dollar rare, rare. Okay, and then go. this came out oh that card of demise was a big deal like $20 yeah yeah twenty dollars right card of demise was very expensive it was in the millennium pack i think that right now draw until you have three cards in your hand also for the rest of the turn after this card resolves your i still have a good amount of these i did I, I mean part of the business plan has always been just you know buy a bunch of them do mass openings keep the things you want sell what you don't make some content i still have a lot of these cards i was originally doing three of each Make a master set, which I don't. I got. I got to focus on the old school stuff first. Judgment. That was really cool to see Judgment like that. I thought that was tight. Very tight. Fusion Sage, Return of the Dragon. Dragon Lords. Oh, that was a dupe. I didn't realize that was the same two cards from that pack as the previous pack. So cards of constant. What are those walls? I need to bring them back. <sighs> Casting spells here. Yeah. I'm learning, I'm learning. Kaiba Man. Is it a uh, turbo pack card? I think that was really expensive. Kaiba Man? Or was it a champion pack? I think that's champion. Uh, right, it was a secret. Warrior Eliminator, another tournament pack card there. Uh, Whitestone of the Ancients. An interdimensional matter transporter as the pile of treasure over here. The pile of treasure. Mega pack. The Kraken Chest. Treasure chest, the Kraken treasure chest, and the Kraken Cove, so no Kraken crew, riding the Kraken ship, uh, Kraken Earth, um, and the Kraken universe. In the set, but it does seem like short the secret slots are really great. I mean, honestly, this uh, Yugi's world is up there. More instead of a mere force in every pack, Eradicator, Epidemic, Virus, Fusion Sage, and Burst. <laughs> I like how I'm adding the, the, the like my own sound wipes. effects into it. You should get some like swipes now every time he opens a pack. Okay, me. our first card, <laughs> Secret Rare, the White Stone Legend, Neutron Blast. Neutron Blast, where's the Ash Blossom? I don't know how many of these we got into before I pulled an Ash Blossom. There's a couple people still on the channel that I've, I've talked to. Shout out to you guys that remembers that very brief interval where I uploaded some videos back in the day. Because uh, I, in my personal opinion, I consider not this what we're watching, but what I'm doing now, their first real launch of the YouTube channel. Because it's everything that I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. I just lacked the uh, outward personality and the Jeez, camera quality. I still have the same mat. Uh, I think mat. it is honestly an underrated. Sometimes you really you know what you want to do, oh, yeah, but it's just the timing isn't blue right. Blue eyes, white dragon. So now I'm happy to be able to open that. That's a really beautiful. So you got the star deck Kaiba. set. It is moving up. I think that's a little piece of advice for everybody. Crush card. You know, sometimes the right place, right time. Compare, well, oh, able to have way more fun. Oh, yeah, and, I want to compare the two. So oh yeah, we're gonna compare the two. Now, now in my life, I'm able to have way more fun. Doing what I do versus then. It was just not the right time. But I'm glad I'm filming it because always film your stuff, dude. You know, it doesn't have to be for any audience, but it's just worth filming because you never know. Now they've bumped up to about 60. If you had bought a couple cases, you'd be doing very well. There are some cards in that set that hadn't been reprinted or haven't in Lullaby of Obedience. What set am I talking about? Dark Sanctuary is another. Dual Pack Rivals of Pharaoh is an undervalued set. Talking about Rivals of Pharaoh. You guys know I love that set. bumped up to about 60. If you had bought a couple cases, you'd be doing very well. There are some cards in that set there. All right, so at this time, this is when I bought a ton of cases of Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh because they were being like fire sold for $30 a box. In this, I'm like, oh, they're doing very well. They're $60 a box. And I was like, hey, 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 I made my money back. I opened a bunch and I completed a set for me. Kept all the rest of them because I was like, dude, $30 for a box that has Yugi on it. It's just, and it had a bunch of cards. It had the first printing of uh, Lullaby of Obedience and Dark Sanctuary. Bunch of cards. Didn't have any secrets in it, but I still felt like it was a really strong product. Those boxes are three hundred dollars now. Sometimes you just go with your gut on things. Uh, even then, it was they kind of appreciated. Just thirty dollars for any. If you have a Yu-Gi-Oh booster box that's selling for thirty dollars and it's a main, any of the main set stuff, it, that's just undervalued. I'm sorry, I don't care what it is. Thirty dollars. It could be people will be like, oh, screw the star packs. People used to hate those star packs. Those are thirty dollars for a while. They're all like upwards of a hundred dollars now. So again. Uh, there's there it becomes a price where it's just just stupidly low. I think Synchro Storm was the most recent one when that was like thirty dollars for a box. That one has a ghost rare in it, but it's not an incredible ghost rare. It doesn't matter. It has ghost rare in it. Thirty dollars for that is too cheap. Or hadn't been reprinted or haven't. And Lullaby of Obedience is one of. Those. Yeah, at that time none of those uh, cards were reprinted. Oh, Twin Burst is in here. Uh, Very nice. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Blue Eyes Ultimate Secret. Dragon. 
Like the jump, the one jump promo that had the secret. secret rare version of that card. But very cool, and also the blue eyes twin burst dragon. Blue eyes twin awesome. burst, baby. Kind of put the blue eyes towards the side. I think this is... How did I break these down? I'm right, trying to remember so how many packs are in the thing. Oh yeah, I just did 10, 10 packs per thing. So this is... No you know, we'll, we'll see so here in a second. No Ash Blossoms. So we have the like Azure Eyes. eyes. We got one card of Mausoleum of White. And then the flanks. Ghost, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Cherries. There was some other hand. I think those are the only two that are out at that time. Was Fusion Sage, Ghost Reaper, Beacon of White, and the White Stone. No, Ogre was out too. Ancients and uh, Ash right, Blossom. Right, Ash Blossom was like the most popular one. Stack of ten mega packs. Here we go. If this video does get crazy long, I will break it up. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through on this. Spoiler alert, we do break it. I don't know if you can hear me. So my mic used to do this thing where if you rip the the pack, it would dip the audio <laughs> super hard, which is like. Dude, just get a lavalier mic, which is what I have now. Uh, well, here we have expensive mic, but a lavalier mic, guys. If you have mic issues with your phone, literally just buy a small lavalier mic. They're like thirty dollars. They sound fine. They don't dip out in audio, but your phones are used to suppressing audio. <laughs> so every time I'd open the pack, I'd be like, "Hey guys, here on Kraken Pack," shoot, and that's why you can find a million dollars in buying trading cards and it's you wouldn't hear what i was talking about in between so what i just said is if this video goes long i'll split it up into different parts which spoiler alert i did split up into different parts so we're gonna have another one in these uh, another video in this series here let me know what you think about these crack and packs reacts you guys seem to be enjoying it in the comments and uh stay tuned for that next one and until next time keep cracking packs